lift that, Drax? Easily. Where shall I put it? You can place it there. I am on my way. Heave-ho, Drax! Gladly. You can put it down here. Shall be done. Walking our way forward. So many doors. You do know the way out, right? I do now. There's Gubbins. You named it Gubbins? Yup. Watch this. He's gonna take us to the comm center. There. That's our exit. Okay. We got this. Idiots don't see us yet. No time to stand around fighting these dudes. The faster we get out, the faster we save Nick. You mean the faster we find the Milano? We're not leaving her. Just follow Gubbins. Thanks, Gubbins. You set that thing? Oh, of course. He's one of us now. This is a pointless fight. Get out of here, bro. Let's finish these guys so Gobble can get it through here! Another cultist! Wow! Don't be sad! Keep punching their stunned lights out! Look, 
I know we want to celebrate because we're maybe two steps away from winning this fight. But if we start dancing before we actually win, these scut holes will send us to our graves. So let's keep our focus and show these losers exactly how we rock. Who's with me? I am with you, Peter Gray. Bring it on! You said this. Get all the plans! It also connects to where we're going! 
only proves persistence. Thanks, Peter. That's why I'm here. Let's finish these guys so gobbles can get us through here. It's Gobbins. Gobbins. He didn't mean it, old guy. This battle is not a worthy servant. Now what? Up there! That catwalk's our way out. If we can get across that gap... Flark, we got a bigger problem! Drone's back! Quill, find us a way up to that catwalk before we're extra crispy! Peter, tell me you've got an idea here. That pillar's top-heavy! Drax, push that across the gap. Yes. No, 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 no! Throw away, Drax! What the Scott, man? Not Drax! Oh, that was not Doesn't hard. matter! We've got an exit! Let's go! Well, that thing really wants a piece of you. Too bad, they're my pieces. We should keep moving. <clears throat> this doesn't look good, Peter. Some kind of torture chamber? They look peaceful. Death can be very peaceful. It's like they're getting their lives sucked out. Hey, uh... Are you okay? I might as well be back on Half-World. Some of my fellow experiments bought into this kind of scut. The Kree scientists told them we were chosen and they tailed the snout believed it. Even as they were dying. But you didn't. I was one of the smart ones. Me and, uh... Stand looking. Let's get the flark out of here! I've had enough of this nightmare. Tell me we're close to your comm center. Gobbin sent us this way. He sent us to a dead end. It wasn't a dead end for him. Actually... <gasps> Let's... I just hope Drax's shortcut leads us in the same direction. Yes, the shortcut. Yes! It is our mission! Yes, sir! 
Let's see where we are. Rocket, do your magic. Yeah, yeah, just let me do it. That must be the comm relay. Or take it off this heap. So, uh, how long is this gonna take? I'm gonna need your help. Sure. All right, just stand right here. Okay. Perfect. <sighs> Why are we pretending we did not witness what was witnessed in the ceremonial chamber? Because the promise is an insidious lie. How can you be certain? Because I wanted to believe it, but I knew when I woke up it... <sighs> you will all be gone. What did you see? I am Groot. I saw my mom. Life. There was something else there too. Yeah, exactly. Whatever it is, it's using the girl. Probably fed her alive her own. About Corral. I know, she's... Walk it, Scott! Dog. What? That was completely intentional. The Milano's on her way. Let's split, before the Faith Brigade realizes what we did. Where's the Milano supposed to dock? <laughs> it's cute they use the word dock. She doesn't have hangar clearance, so we're gonna have to get creative. Okay, just don't go overboard. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found a rendezvous spot near the hull. Wait, what? Relax. I know where we're going. I have topics we must discuss. Now's not the time for it. It's all sick. What are we doing here? Not enough. Peter, there's a workbench we can use. Do it fast if you're gonna. That drone's still hunting us. Better safe than sorry. Let's get it done. All right.
Ding, ding, done. Ah, got a crick in my back because of that. Now let's get out of here while we still can. Ugh, we need to get through here, but the stupid faith tech door ain't powered. So how do we charge it? Gotta find something compatible with that power port. Maybe I can just zap it? Runs on faith. Unless your guns can squeeze out some faith juice, we're screwed. Got a lazy death bot here. This battery might still have some juice. Worth a try. Okay. Can you just... Whoa! Whoa! <sighs> Not cool! Do you know what you're doing? Sure. Battery in the battery slot, right? Will this work? One way to find out. Hook it up. Looks like it worked. Somebody want to fetch the destroyer? Drax, you coming, man? Drax? Hello? Hey, Drax. What's wrong? It has occurred to me that this may be nothing more than a lingering dream. It's not, I promise. But we need to go. Very well. That is kind of scary. I've never heard any ship make that noise. Not even Jatari. Is that... singing? More like distant chanting. Whatever it is, that's a lot of people. We have to go this way. We need to keep pushing forward. Our luck's gotta change. I mean, once you shoot your own mom in the face, things have to go up from there, right? <laughs> Peter... Whatever that is, it's really close. This is what? There must be millions of them. At least. Yeah, and how are we supposed to help? We need to worry about getting our own tails off this death trap. We survive. Then we make sure Cosmo knows everything about this nightmare. He'll know what to do. The church comes for us! Flark! Think we can hijack that skiff? Probably. It'll be an ugly hack. Safety's off, people! I'm surprised your gun even has a safety! Hope the rest of you are as ready for this as I am! Splat, it paints an awfully nice picture. <laughs> There's no way we lose today, Quill. Guys, have you forgotten who we are? We fear none. Why would we fear? We're winning. Right, exactly. Because we've never known another way but winning. Who's with me? That was Does anyone so understand that speech? I believe I understand. 
Understand what? The words they all spoke in unison. Okay, let's see what we can do with this, Scott. Come on. Come on. You sure you can? Whoa! If just one small faith battery can power one of their robots, imagine the power they harness here. And they're conquering planets now. Even this is small scale. Did you hear that? Hear what? There was... Whoa! We're okay. They're just bouncing off the field. What the stuff? Shields down! Blast them! Keep your heads down! I got this! Get it through! 
Don't you rocket! The fire's keeping up his crew! The flying one empowers them with faith! No mercy! Guess what? Drax? Rocky, can you outrun them? How? We've got the same step! Crap, the shield's blown! You gotta keep them off of us! Closing in! Uh, let them come! Oh, my God. 
Guys, huddle up! Flark and Shatari fought more fair than this. They had a code of honor. A flarked up code of honor. But it's true, these monsters won't play by the rules. <gasps> I am Groot. We are getting creamed out there, you want to know why? Because we keep trying to fight fair. But in this galaxy, you don't win by fighting fair. So when we step into that battlefield again, let's give those losers a taste of their own medicine. Who's with me? Who talks field? Yes! Let's wait! Oh, yeah! We were here first! Get off! Yeah! King of the hill, suckers! Why do they wait? They have to fish! Cut to pieces! Having fun praying on the weak? Been too long since Feel I flew this? something up! Come back from that kind of brainwashing. I did. Yeah, well, he ain't you. <laughs> this thing's falling apart! Come on, we're almost there! Are we gonna make it? No! Hang on. You feel that? No. The vibrations are different here. We're getting close to the edge of the ship. And our way out of here. You can detect that? Hello, whiskers? Just ran off. She knows 
what she's doing! I hope! Punch it, Drax! Whip him in the night! Let's fire some time! That woman is nuts! Smoke the rocket! Breathing room, Groot! Never thought I'd say it, but I'm getting real tired of wasting people. Are you cool? No, I ain't changed. I mean, I need a break. Just for a day or two. So I can get some feeling back in my trigger finger. Mind helping us across? I am Groot. I am Groot. Yeah, what happens if Gamora don't catch up? Once they realize we're on the Milano, they'll throw everything they got at us. I will not leave Hovat behind again. Hovat? You mean Gamora? Yes, of course. The, the, the lethal one. Gamora asked me to trust her, that's what I'm- I'm Groot. Yeah, we clock! How's that thing still dogging us? Run! Go! Ah! I hate everything in this ship! Go, go, go! I only got a little less! It's your feet, Peter Quill! These boots are heavy, okay? Jump! What? Jump! We need to keep <sighs> moving forward, Quill! Let's see those branches! You'll struggle in vain! What's another religio nut? These zealots do not fear dying! Should get here any tick now. Should? Yeah, well, it's the best I can do. And our window to meter is getting smaller. You know they're gonna open fire as soon as they detect us. Yep, I've gotta run in silence. But who knows what kind of sense this Raker has on this thing. The trick is to defeat them before they can get the ice out. Big wrong call for the big solution. Thanks, Drex. Tracks. Go 
awaits our challenge in combat! I know you do! Firing upon that one will only cause us harm! He'll get his turn! The blockhead camping up his buddy! Then put him in a body bag! Problem? Solution! Destroy! Thank you! We're taking care of it! We got a lot of space! Let's use it! Keep that goons off of me! Peter Quill! You're a big guy! Face me! Now is the time to strike! Okay, they're set to blow! We need to get the flark out of here! How much time do we have? I might have overdone it! Run! No! Rocky Bezer! Back. Are you crazy? I like killing sprees as much as the next guy, but we barely got out of there alive. What about Gamora? She, she made a choice. So you're just gonna abandon her? And Nikki? What if it was Groot? You gonna leave him behind too? I am Groot. Don't talk like that. That's not what this is about. Isn't it though? We're supposed to be a team. Teams don't leave people behind. Tell that to the giant Kratakan army of robots and brainwashed believers we barely got away from! Gamora! Is that...? Yes. How'd you get back? It doesn't matter. I failed. Raker lives. For now. We have to go back. We can't leave Nikki there. What he'll turn her into. Blah, blah, Flark and blah. So you got stepdaddy issues and had a horrible childhood. Ooh, rocket! What? 
It's true. Guess what? You ain't the only one here who had it bad. It don't mean we're angling to commit suicide because some pseudo-priest nutjob is doing surprise nutjob stuff. If we go back there, we're dead. D-E-D! -E -D, dead! Why is your group? I'd rather die with honor than without. Who crawled up her butt and died? I am Groot. So, get the Flark out of Dodge? Not yet. We should try to get a hold of Cosmo instead. Great plan, only he ain't answering the passport. Okay, but what choice do we have? We don't have comms. Well, actually, we uh, might have comms. It turns out they weren't as flarked as I originally thought. Really? Groot should be able to raise him. Sounds like Murder Mom's feeling more stabby than usual. You all right there, Drax? I am pondering that question. And that makes total sense. After what happened with Nikki and that twisted promise, having to watch the people we love die all over again. My family did not simply die. They were murdered by Thanos. I think I'm... I do not wish to discuss it. I saw you looking at those emergency door controls, stupid llama thing. You better not try eating them. I hope that was llama speak for I will not chew up your hey, rocket. You got a minute? I bought something in nowhere to remove that Novacore lock. <laughs> The guy said it was a lock disabler. It's not? Piece of junk disabler is what it is. Oh. How do I have to say this again? No shopping for tech without rocket. Fine. I hope you ain't just browsing. I could really use a flark and drink right now. One whole arm. That's what? 10% of Raker down? And I say we leave the other 90% alone. Can't say I ain't glad I get to dissect this little marvel. But that's as close as I'm getting to this flark and cult ever again. Oh, why yes. I am the handsome leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, Gamora! I was only looking... Relax. I'm not gonna kill you. This time. Okay, good. I, uh, actually... never got a chance to say thank you. For the doll. Oh. <laughs> no problem. I know how you like this kind of stuff. It was very thoughtful. I can count on one hand the number of times someone has given me a present without expecting something in return. Wow. Uh, Christmas gifts from Thanos must have really sucked. That's putting it lightly. Thanos wasn't the giving type. Everything was a mind game designed to control us. Gifts included. So thank yous aren't exactly my strong suit. Something Mantis says I need to work on. How do you know Mantis? Did she give you one of her weirdo fortunes or something? Not exactly. 
How do you know her? Uh, I maybe tried to pick her up in a bar once. And how'd that work out? Good. Until she did the creepy antenna thing. I was half expecting her to start chanting, Red Rum, Red Rum. Red what? Doesn't matter. Point is, she's a wacko for sure. A really hot wacko. Who happens to be your friend? Yeah, well, that wacko saved my life. A few years ago. Someone got the jump on me. An assassin. Nearly killed me. Mantis happened to be in the right place at the right time. Seems to have a knack for that. <laughs> yeah. Turns out I had no idea how badly I need someone like her in my life. Up until then, I'd been so... lonely. After the war, the Resistance disbanded. Richard Ryder got busy with politics, and the world mine had no use for someone like me. An assassin? Something like that. Thanos trained me to be a weapon, not a peacekeeper. Once a weapon, always a weapon, you know? Is that why Mantis mentioned suicidal urges? Because I get it. I've, I've been there. I'm pretty sure we've all been there at some point. Let's just say I'm not in that place anymore. Because of Mantis. She showed me another way. A place where maybe I can be needed. What kind of gifts did Thanos give you? Weapons, poison, the metal wire thing you used to strangle people with? He gave us dolls. Once. Stupid ugly things from Xandar. Wow, okay. That's surprisingly girly. What? I can't be feminine? No, just... I was really sure it was going to be a knife or something. Like I said... Thanos liked mind games. It was unusual for him to be... kind. We didn't even have a bedroom, yet here were these dolls. Purposeless. And they were ours. Do you still have it? Like, is it in your collection? No. I lost the one Thanos gave me when I was six. She was the ugliest doll I'd ever seen. I cried so hard when I lost her. <sighs> Nebula hurt me. She loved her doll, and I knew she wanted another one. So when she came in to check, we started to fight. Bet Thanos loved that. He found us fighting, saw my tears, and... laughed. Turns out, the dolls were a lesson on the importance of not getting attached. To help us understand that, he took Nebula's doll and threw it into the incinerator. That's... I can't imagine. Nebula didn't understand why he did it. Only that I was somehow responsible. I started collecting these a few years ago. After Nebula... After I knew I'd never see her again. It's dumb, but... I guess i do it for her. Wow. Um, I'm glad I bought this for you. And I can promise that there are zero strings attached to anything I give you. You're an important part of this team, Gamora. Uh, thanks, Peter. Uh, truly. He explicitly did not. As far as I know, we ain't turning the ship around and heading back to the matriarch. I'll take that as a win. It is matriarch. I know. Peter, we need to... Gamora. Hey. Is that... Corral's Galactic War Commendation? Yeah. I rescued it from her office. I was planning to give it back to her until... No one could have predicted that Corel was dead. Or that Nikki would be the matriarch. 
Or that she might be my kid. That too. She's gonna have questions and I don't even know where to begin. How did you and Mom hook up? Why weren't you around? Did you even want me? Ugh, I've become my dad. Do you want to practice on me, answering her questions? I already told Nikki some of the story. But not all of it. What was I supposed to say? Hey kid, I hooked up with your mom. I might be your dad. Maybe not that. I mean, it was war. I was with the Ravagers hitting Shatari supply chains. You know, pirate stuff. None of us had any long-term plans beyond survival. Especially not kids. Hell, I only met Corel because I heard Earth was in Shatari's crosshairs. Mercury, yeah, I remember. Richard Ryder established an outpost on the planet's surface. An undermanned, undergunned, and horribly outnumbered outpost that didn't stand a snowball's chance in hell when the Shatari launched a sneak attack. Obviously, I had to do something. Nikki would understand that, I think. It was so close, Gamora. By the time I convinced Yondu to help, the outpost had fallen. We thought we were too late, so when Corel and her squad came out of those caves, she was just so... Badass. Her forces had been through the ringer, but she wasn't about to give up Mercury without a fight. That definitely sounds like the Corral I remember. I tried to convince Yanyu to stay and help retake the outpost, but he saw no profit in dying. So I stayed instead. We spent hours strategizing together, often late into the night. It took three days to come up with a counterattack, and even then, it was risky. We thought we were gonna die. But you didn't. No. We didn't. And now... Now I have to figure out how to tell my estranged kid her mother's dead. Corel never told me about Nikki. She had a chance to tell me three years ago and she didn't. What happened? You have to promise not to judge me too harshly. Can't promise that. I love judging people. <laughs> Fine. Corel maybe kind of caught me with a kidnapped 12-year-old girl. Yeah, I can see why Corel wouldn't have mentioned Nikki. It's not like that. I didn't kidnap the kid, Yondu did. I told him it was wrong, that we had to give her back, and he... disagreed. So, I stole the Milano, and I was trying to return her when Corel just happened to intercept me. Mm-hmm. Look... After the Galactic War ended, Corel and I went our separate ways. I rejoined the Ravagers and she joined the Nova Corps. It's not like we had a future together. When she caught me with the kid, when I saw the disappointment in her face, I knew I had to turn over a new leaf. Even if it meant turning in Yondu. You're the reason Yondu's in the kiln? No wonder there's a bounty on your Earth name. He must have been pissed. Yep. But I'd do it all over again. What gets me is that Corel had plenty of chances to tell me about Nikki, and she didn't. If I had known, maybe... The important thing is that you know now. Yeah. Anyway, until we get Nikki back, we've got bigger fish to fry. This stuff can wait. True. But when you are ready to talk about it, just be honest with her. The rest will fall into place. Yeah. You're probably right. Cease your running around, rodents. You are interfering with my equilibrium. Don't sit on the couch in the middle of the room, man. I will consider it. Wait to get out of here. Oh, 
Somebody makes the right call and gets us out of the way of those church idiots. Hey, dude. How are you feeling? Busy. It's okay. It's just the two of us in here. We all saw a pretty messed up scut in that promise thing. I'm fine, Quill. There ain't nothing some Cree kid can promise that won't make my skin crawl. Okay. But what did you see? Doesn't matter. I knew it was fake soon as she got into my head. Quill and I don't need to make up. Maybe when Quill makes the right call and flies us far, far away from the church, I'll consider us formally even. What? Hey, hey. Gamora. Go away, Peter. Come on. Just thought I'd check in. That was some pretty heavy stuff you said earlier. Wanna talk about it? I don't need a pep talk. Okay. All right. No talking. Let's sing it out. What? Oh, oh, who's the hunter? Who's the game? You feel the beat? Call your name. Come on, I know you know this one. I hold you close in victory. I don't want to tame your animal style. You won't be caged in the call of the wild. Come on, sing it! Shooting at the walls of... Shooting at the walls of heartache. Bang, bang. I, I am the warrior. warrior. Well, I am the warrior. warrior, and heart to heart you <laughs> win. <laughs> See? Just singing. All right. I like that one. Gets me every time. What did you want to talk about? Want to talk about the guy whose arm you just ripped off? There's nothing to talk about. You chopped his arm off. And that's all I did. He's still out there, with Nikki manipulating her with his slick lies and flarked up promises. Making everybody think... We can't bring them back. Who did you see? In your promise. Got a feeling it wasn't Thanos. No one. Nothing. It was just a lie. Which is why we need to stop it. Right. I'm working on that. Just... Try not to slash the cargo bay in half. Could you move? Shoo, shoo. Move over. What are you looking at? Oh no, you ain't chewing through any more of my ship. My ship? <laughs> Shoo, flock off! Wow, that panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey, do I look like an engineer? You don't. I know the wires look tasty, but they're not for eating, all right? Ask Drax for a ration pack if you're hungry. Comms array wouldn't be all chewed up if we'd kept the llama in here. Ooh, so swirly. Is that even a plant? I wonder where Gru picked up that one.
Anybody in there? Drax? Are you okay? Open up! Peter Quill. Are you gonna join us in the cockpit? You had a lot of dog report items for Cosmo. Perhaps I will. I'll write them down. Drax. Apologies. I will surrender the lavatory. In a few ticks. Wait. Was that my toothbrush? How about you, bud? You doing okay? <clears throat> Are you sure? We saw some pretty messed up stuff in there. I am Groot. Yeah. Maybe I'm not the best person to discuss it with you. <laughs> you and Rocket should definitely talk about it, though. <sighs> I'm glad you guys are there for each other. Take care, buddy. I am Groot. Anything yet? I am Groot. Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy. Where have you been? We've been calling you. Sorry, Piotr Quill. Cosmo's ball has been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. But Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. He's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Yet, this problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar and ask World Mind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxy must actually. Cosmo, are you there? What happened? I am Groot. Are we under attack? So these are the cowards who defile Lady Hellbender's honor. No. Good. And who the flock are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. <laughs> A Lethal Legion? Uh, more like Loser Legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you were as imbecilic as they are. Lady Hellbender sends a regard, so-called Guardians of the Galaxy. Prepare to be eliminated. No, you prepare to be eliminated. Smooth. Uh, we got this. Probably. <sighs> Hit them hard and give no quarter. There's nothing on that garbage scow worth salvaging. We're taking fire! We got a piece of that guy! Feel free to show off, Will. They insulted my baby. Yes. Feel 
like we pissed off the whole galaxy. A good chunk of them anyway. Really need to work on our PR. us. Let me look up the contract real quick. Oh, 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 oh man. These guys are making jump pain. Really? No. I am Clary, warrior of... <laughs> Take that, Lady Skull Scut. I doubt we've seen the last of her. We won't worry about Lady Hellbender later. Let's just focus on getting to Xandar. Punch it! Yep. Old girl needs a tune-up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my... Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open channel, Groot. Let's see what's going on. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. I need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous domeheads, but they're, they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flarkin' deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. To Novacore headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. I know, bud, but now we can all follow along with Starpants' mistakes. How, How may we assist you? Hunter must choose quickly. Congratulations on your decision to join the Corps. To begin, state your full name, designation, or serial number. Richard Ryder. Star Lord. Of course, Mom! This strategy is futile. Oh, uh, come on, muscle brain. It might work. Oh, Please state you. your celestial body. Or, or artificial, artificial installation of origin. Someplace. Earth. Earth. I continue to doubt this strategy. <laughs> yeah, maybe it won't work. <laughs> Not look today. At this, Scott. It's hilarious. Nope. In a few you have words, to describe what made you want to join Nova Corps. Because I'm a sucker. Justice. Looks like the best AI in the world couldn't parse that. Good job, boys. 
you please stop that? All right, so that was fun, but a complete waste of time. Any other ideas? Just pick something, Peter. Well, how about that one? Thanks we should report what Raker is up to. Think the Flarkin world mind doesn't already know? Maybe not. I don't need your help with this, okay? We are aware of the current threat, but can devote no resources toward fighting it. I suggest the officer's directory. Certainly the world mind will be listed there. After scanning your ship, our near perfect algorithms pre selected several officer choices. Cadet Nicolette Gold's communication privileges are suspended while we investigate her involvement in unsanctioned cult activity. You should force your spawn to answer us. I can't do that. She's independent. If you pick Creequil, I'm gonna gnaw your ears off. What are you doing, Starpants? I agree with the rodent. Your language choice makes no strategic sense. I am Groot. Groot says you should pick the top option. Why are we letting the Terran select the language? I am Groot. Groot's right. You can't read this, Scott. So what are you playing at, Quill? I am Groot. Groot says you should hurry up. I am Groot. Better hurry, Starpants. Eh, better than Crete. Not much better, but better. Large and Groot. Groot wants us to report a crime, which is just wrong. Only, Only one, one application per cycle is permitted, and, and you, you cannot, cannot resume a canceled application. How about future crime? Great idea. Thank, Thank you for being proactive. However, the galaxy's impending doom makes all future crimes irrelevant. Hey, Wolverine. Got any ideas? Galactic standard. No, -uh, not letting you do that, Quill. This menu again? Arm Groot. Groot wants you to pick World Mine. The allocation of resources for direct communication with us has been denied. We apologize for the inconvenience. Well, it was worth a shot. Let's try something else. Scroll down! Scroll down! Hey, your cop girlfriend is still listed here. You should, uh... Rocket! Oh, right, she's, uh, dead. Scroll back up! I think I saw someone interesting. Does that say Nova Prime? Any idea which one? Who even cares? Nova Prime's identity is confidential. And communication with them is forbidden. Until further notice. Huh. Doesn't say which one. Why even list them then? Peter, I think everyone here is too busy or dead to answer. Perhaps we should try another menu. We, we are sad to inform you that the area of Carlos is currently missing and is soon dead. Hey, isn't this that Buckethead we killed on the rock? We definitely did not murder him, and definitely did not admit it in front of a Nova Corps console rocket! I what do you mean the past crime button looks lonely? It's got two friends right there. We should tell them about the promise. Right, as if none of these other ships ain't already blasting about it all over the comms. Yes! Due to the imminent termination of civilization, we are unable to open new cases. Do you think turning ourselves in would get their attention? No. Thank you for attempting to be an outstanding citizen. As all prisons are being evacuated, you may self-sequester wherever you wish. to banking services. I can't believe that worked. Gardeners of the galaxy. Explain yourselves. Hey, world mind. Long time no see. It's me. Peter Quill, Star-Lord. And, uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay fine. No, 
No, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass delusion known as the promise. It's sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less than three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts, worlds, and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda Galaxy, all lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They, actually, the world mind is collected consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop How it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. Is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And you better not call me in it. <laughs> Look, we just escaped the church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. Pretty sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as? Well, how to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. Are you still alive? Because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Novacore helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. Th the point is, we've lived things, experienced things. We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We have overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. However, given the ill-defined parameters of such a query, undertaking a search protocol at this time is ill-advised. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Zandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Have you seen what your planet looks like? Zandarian culture is a lost cause. Culture is more than a location. And yet after the Shatari attack, you still build the new Xandar in the same system knowing it wasn't safe. But you're Nova Corps' leader. You have a duty to protect this galaxy. That is incorrect. You ain't the leader of the Bucketheads. We do, we do not have a duty to protect this galaxy. galaxy. We merely police it to get advanced knowledge of potential threats. Serve and protect only ourselves. A logical byproduct of our primary directive. We have officers all over the galaxy laying down their lives for you. And you won't even risk fighting for their sake? The risk is too great. It would be a pointless sacrifice. For unknown reasons. The church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We can adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is logical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it cannot be countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. You're scared. Yeah, you met a math problem that you don't understand and you're running away from. Fear is an emotional reaction. Disputable. We do, do not experience emotion, therefore we cannot be afraid. Why are you running then? Our primary directive is the preservation Yeah, yeah, bleep, bloop, bloop. Thought you were a Class G super intelligence, not an infinite loop. We, we recognize that you are displeased with our decision to leave. However, your emotional, emotional state is not our primary concern. We did we not, not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? I am Warlock, the Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in 
the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So, no one? We are, we are pleased. pleased. You reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. Yeah, let's get this over with. Confirm payment. Oh, come on, really? I knew it! I knew you spent Lady Hellbender's money in nowhere. You saw me? You were there? I was watching your back. Great. All the way to Seknar from back, and nothing to show for it. I'm sorry, alright? Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off. Loser Legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Guys. And how are we gonna do that? We're dead in the flock and water. And if they find us, we're screwed. Freely accepted. Oh, oh yeah, and without an engine, we're screwed. Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys! Enough! Just stop already! I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. I don't care! Just fix it! Scoff. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know, okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just... can't do this right now. <sighs> I need some rest. Screw Nova Corps. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Drax, I, uh... I do not wish to talk. Fair enough. We're all pretty spent, just... Try to get some rest if you can. Look, it's our great leader. Hey. Here to yell at me some more? What? No. I really don't feel like small talk. You... 
Forgot your toast. Hey, Groot, you remember if I left the sensor nodes on standby earlier? I am Groot. Because I told you about it, I said... What am I doing? Everyone on this ship's been using this. Not today, brain parasites. in there. Look, we're all frustrated. We did what we could with the world mind, but they weren't even listening. It doesn't matter. They had their minds made up. They were being kind of scut. Mm-hmm. I mean, I did nothing wrong. I was just asking them to do their job. How about doing your job? My job? Have you seen the size of that church ship? What am I supposed to do? Guess you and the world mind aren't so different. What? Maybe it's because I had a tyrant for a dad, but I'm used to people in charge not being afraid to get scut done. The heck? God. Feels like I've been awake for a whole cycle. Really? How did you... Come on, girl. Shoo, shoo. What the f... That's how you got in? Ugh, screw it. <sighs> and the bed smells. Great. We have a ship. This is our room? Why is it so small? Look at you. Me. Oh. Weird hair. What? What is it? What is this? How are you... me? Come on. The talking raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket, yeah. He was... fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad guys? <sighs> It's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. 
Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? Oh, how long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Quill, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship! Yes, your ship. Come on, the others are outside. Let's be careful out there. The quarantine zone wasn't exactly safe last time. Don't worry, I remember the sudden debris showers. Is everyone outside already? Yep, waiting for us. Once we're out there, let's go. Stumbled out of bed. The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough? What? Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but. <sighs> Nikki! Leave me alone! Why are you chasing me? We 
are you doing? Heroes go by. None of this makes any sense! No! This is all wrong! Guys! I'm sorry! I don't know what to do! Yes, you do! You do! It's my fault, isn't it? All of it! We're supposed to be a hero. We can't keep running away from our problems. Leave me alone! Why are you chasing me? We have to face our fears. Take responsibility. What are you doing? Heroes don't mind. None of this makes any sense! We have to face our fears. Take responsibility. Leave me alone! Why are you chasing me? Take that, you ugly monster thing! Peter Quill! Peter Quill! Peter Quill! Peter Quill, wake up! <laughs> Hovat and Camaria will be restored. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, we just need to have faith. <laughs> uh, Drax, you're kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family, your mother, the Kree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith, with the Matriarch's promise, our families can be restored. I, I, Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? I... Totally accepted it. I am super stoked to see my mom again. And rejoin your daughter. Y yes, right, right, my, my daughter. I knew you would see the truth of her light, Peter Quill. Yep, uh, the truth and light, dead. Not dead, uh, my daughter, it's all super great. This pleases me. I'm less certain of the others. The wooden one may come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Because <laughs> they're our family, man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I know it. Take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's gonna be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And, and Rocket. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. What Nikki, uh, the, the, the matriarch, is, is offering, it's, it's all new territory for him. And the wooden one? You said it yourself. You'll come around. I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good. That's 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 great. Um, I'll, I'll let the others know. Ah, there is no need. We must bring the matriarch here. We'll give them the time they require to consider her promise. Right, uh, right. Because she's a million light years away, and it'll take us time to get there. Already landed on her planet. What? what? Why? Why would you do that? Well, if you had truly accepted her promise, you would know. Perhaps it is better that you wait here for a while and contemplate your faith. Hey! Drax! We can talk about this! Great. Yo, Quill, you there? Please tell me you're not dead. Quill? Answer, will ya?
I'm here, Rocket! Oh, fake Flark. Peter? Rocket? Why is my door locked from the outside? Yeah. Drax may have kind of joined the church. What? Seriously? I am Groot. I know, it's, it, it's super messed up, Drax. Drax is kind of messed up. He also may have landed us on Sacrosanct to find the Matriarch. But don't worry. I may have an idea. Which is? Cammy's been chewing through my wall. Maybe it's a way for me to get out. If I can just squeeze through and get to the cockpit. You can release the locks. Bingo! Okay, I'm out. Any sign of Drax? Not yet. You know what? I'm actually glad this happened. Why? Why? Because I flarkin' told you guys that thing would chew everything. But did you listen? Oh no! Can't listen to Rocket. He just fixes everything. So wait. Are you happy Cammy chewed a hole through the wall or not? No, but also maybe, if it means we get out of this. It's locked, Peter. It was worth a try. Uh, so, guess who gets to fix the bulkheads when all this is done? Assuming we don't die first. I am good. Bet your bark it's me. And if it weren't for me, the Milano would still be floating dead in space right now. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, we're real grateful that you fixed the ship in time for Drax to hijack it. I know, I, I was just checking. Well, go check the cockpit instead. I am Groot. I don't know why he hasn't unlocked the doors yet. us a lesson. I literally don't think he knows his way around the ship. Just so it's clear, Quill, the cockpit is the little room with the big window where you pretend to fly! We owe you one. Can you unlock the 
doors in the cockpit. Uh, please tell me you know where the cockpit is. I know where the cockpit is. Done. Meet me in the rec room. What are we flocking waiting for? We gotta ditch this mud ball before Green and Crazy shows up with his new pal, the Kurtakin Matriarch. Rocket, stop! We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find him and pull him back from the dark side. You're talking about kidnapping Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No. no not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Well... Flark, Quill. It's about Kratak and time you showed some Nords. Fine. I'm in. Any other objections? Nope. I'm good. I'm good. Good. Then let's go find our friend. <laughs> 